Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law through this channel. I'll be providing some stock analysis and a quick update on the million dollar challenge. So if anybody's not aware of this, this is a journey of investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategic or compound return investing. So the objective is try to get 201 trades, each with an average return of 3.5%. It's not 201 consecutive trades, we do take into account losses so for further details about how to join us for less than nine dollars a month information is available in the description below in today's video we're going to be looking at news with regard to the sec and charges against short sellers for securities fraud and market manipulation and we're also going to be looking at mmtlp and news with regard to broker dealers who were confirmed to be able to and willing to pay over $24,000 per share in terms of a, a proven reminder of what would have happened. And then we're going to be looking at Tixamal SERV, which was also featured in the previous video and a number of other previous videos. So before we get started, let's have a look at what's happening in the market. So first headline here, we can see from Reuters, which was at the start of the market, we can see inflation, US inflation data was out earlier and uh, this data boosted global stocks lower overall and also um, uh, treasury yield. So we have a look at the PCE price index year on year. The forecast was 2.5%, the previous figure was 2.6%. And the actual figure was 2.5%. So uh, pretty much on uh, target. And what, I, what I've posted here in terms of uh, the Fed's preferred inflation measure, it was uh, above expectation. So basically it is a drop of 0.1%. <clears throat> so uh, overall inflation is fairly flat. And the question is, will the Fed cut interest rates in September? And what we can see here in terms of the closer market from CNBC, we can see that stocks have recovered uh, a little bit, not too much. Uh, and the Dow Jones closed up 650 points, buoyed by more bullish inflation data that we have just seen. Let's now have a look at news with regard to the SEC charges and what we can see in terms of the post from News Your Wales earlier was that the SEC has charged Andrew Left and his firm Citroen Capital, which we all know is quite a notorious organization for engaging in a 20 million dollar scheme to defraud followers by publishing false and misleading statements regarding his supposed stock uh, trading recommend recommendations so a very very serious allegation there so reaction here from charles payne he stated citroen have been charged with fraud but the financial media will only read the headline but not admit how complicit they have been in helping out shorts pound companies with little counterbalance so um, uh, again a very very um, important point made by charles there which i think carries a huge amount of truth and what roger has posted here is 20 million dollars sounds like small potatoes and i certainly agree with uh, roger there and the grand scheme of things it looks like what um, the sec are doing is looking for the goldfish and not the sharks uh, and uh, let's have a look at a reaction now from david lauer and what david lauer has stated here in a positive post he stated here is this the first this is this first step forward in a true in truly addressing market abuse so good recognition there the sec and department of justice together with have charged andrew left and citron with civil and criminal charges for securities for and market manipulation and this is a big deal so again again i think the sec uh, look to be taking action against these little organizations and these individual people behind it such as andrew left and we can see the press release there dated July the 26th, 2024, activist short seller charged with $16 million stock market manipulation scheme. But I believe there are many, many more, much, much bigger than this. Uh, and uh, we can see in the second headline here, the SEC also changes Andrew Left and Citroen Capital for $20 million fraud scheme. And uh, the short seller used bait and switch tactics to mislead investors. So I think it is um, much, much more important to focus on these are kind of organizations because the losers are always the retail investors so when the uh, sec finds them uh, there is still no comeback and no justice for the S uh, retail investors who have lost out because of their nefarious activities so uh, final reaction from pocahontas here uh, it states here this is definitely a move in the right direction i think it's needs to be a lot more than this move though there are several more that deserve jail time and if the sec were really serious about regulating cleaning up the market they should hand out some uh, more revocation of license noticing so we, we have other areas that need to be looked at um, especially from a hedge fund 
point of view such as dark pool abuse, spoofing, naked shouting, destroying pensions, ladder attacks, paying off politicians and people in Congress, rerouting orders, gaslighting, retail. So again, uh, some great points here. Let's now look at the role of the SEC, FINRA and potential conflicts of interest and what Rare DD has posted here is what is the role of FINRA's UPC committee. So first of all, this is a committee responsible for the U3 halting of MMTLP, two days trading uh, that were obviously lost by us because of the U3 halt and the irony is that the committee's existence is to prevent misunderstanding disagreements like the one we've just experienced over the previous 19 months plus. So 10 members of the committee during 20, December 2022 had over 200 years of combined experience which obviously came to little value and how did they fail so miserably and why have they not been questioned by Congress? So this is something that we have been looking at and coming back to the SEC, why is it that the SEC is yet to address this conflict of interest concerning the firm's exposure to MMTLP short positions? So we're talking about the panel, the U3 Holt panel of FINRA, which is the UPC committee, which we ha which has now been exposed. So, uh, and finally, I'm going to give a shout out here to Quantum, confirming uh, the details of broker dealers who were willing to pay in excess of $24,000 per share. So what Quantum have paste posted here in terms of a reminder for everyone uh, that the MOASS is not a theory or a meme but a proven fact. Shorts were buying out $3 MMTLP shares for $24,994.02. They do have the money to pay us um, uh, by phone number prices. Remember not to sell the uh, for price that looks high to you, but the price that looks high to them. So again, the image share that we have looked at, we can see um, if we expand the image, uh, there were um, five shares uh, agreed to sell, and we can see here too late to cancel for $24,000, uh, sorry, $24,994.02. And we also have 4,145 shares priced at $1,500 per share. So the uh, broker dealers and uh, hedge funds were willing to pay this and these potentially would have gone through if the two days of trading have not been removed. So a huge, huge cost here to the um, retail investors. And I'm going to finish up by having a look at Tixamal SERV, also known as Serve Robotics, which is a stock that we have been watching carefully in the Discord. And this is also a stock that has been called out in our weekly watch list. Uh, so uh, if we have a look at the chart for today, we can see again, it's up a very healthy 9% today. And at one point it was uh, up in excess of um, $16. There has been a pullback, but Overall, if we have a look at the chart for the previous uh, one month, we can see it is up a staggering $626.37. And uh, just around about uh, the 1st of July, we can see it was trading uh, less than $2.50. So uh, what has been the news? So this is also a stock that again, um, was covered in the previous video. So go ahead and check out yesterday's video and a number of other previous videos where we have been looking at um, um, SERV and the news that we have been sharing in the Discord and also broken live in the Discord was with regards to NVIDIA's ownership. So this is the key reason why the uh, stock has been going up and at one point it was up 233% immediately and uh, the question is should you buy this stock? It is a high risk stock in my opinion. It's also a stock that you should potentially protect profits in and take profits in where you can. Uh, so if anybody would like to get more breaking news of other stocks and get access to our weekly watch list as well as our daily stock alerts, details are in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned.